I would like to introduce another Cary School senior, Olivia Sparrow, who is graduating a year early and is inspired by her mother. I think probably my mom inspires me to do well in school because she's always had this vision of me doing the best that I can and just she's kind of what inspired me to graduate early. One of my goals is to graduate early. I've worked my butt off over the summer and took classes over the summer and I've doubled up on classes this year. One of the things that I really enjoy is cheerleading, especially in high school. It's really fun just to cheer on the crowd and cheer on the team and get everybody involved and just have that school spirit. And I really, I really love um, the bus rides and the time that I get to spend with my team because in, in the beginning we're all like strangers and then throughout the season we become like sisters. I would like them to remember that I'm a hard worker and that I'm a really good cheerleader. I think that's, that's what I'd like them to remember. I think my favorite subject is probably Biology 201 with Mr. Durchie because he makes it fun. He's not really boring or monotone when he talks. I think just the teachers like being more one-on-one -on -one with us engages me better and like I think it's really cool to see all of the kids like wanting to learn. I think that's inspiring to me. My favorite teacher has probably got to be Mr. Ducci because he makes it fun. He's just not boring and just like here's a paper, do the paper. He explains what we're going over really well. Educational advice that I would give to the younger kids is just Keep up on your classes and don't procrastinate your homework because that's one of the biggest problems that I have is procrastination and it just it just hurts you in the end. So probably in my, my four years of Cary High School, I think graduating early <laughs> is probably my proudest accomplishment. So outside of school, I work with younger kids and again, working with them, just seeing what kind of people I can shape them and inspire them to be inspires me, I suppose. So I work at the YMCA and we do like this after school program. So they go there after school and we help them with their homework and entertain them until their parents get off work. The person that I look up to the most is my mom because I come from a single parent household and she works her butt off to make sure that me and Ashton have everything that we need and almost everything that we want. And seeing her just work as hard as she does really really inspires me. So I think my biggest challenge is Miss Young's math class. Um, so the first, my first year here I was doing really good and then I got into algebra and <laughs> I started to go downhill a little bit but this year I'm, I'm facing my challenge and getting good grades. So one year from now I want to be done with my generals at CSI and then five years from now hopefully graduated from ISU or U of I or somewhere with my degree in hospital administration. After I graduate from ISU or wherever, I will then pursue a master's degree somewhere. So for my senior project, I worked with the second graders and I helped them improve their literacy skills. So during my senior project hour, I would go there and I would help them read books and help them take AR tests and stuff like that. And I think I learned from my senior project that being a teacher is very hard and you have to be very patient because not all of the kids will learn at the same pace. So the habit that I'll use after I graduate is probably begin with the end in mind because that's what I've done in my high school careers. I wanted to graduate early because I thought of that graduation since the beginning. Thank you, Olivia. We appreciate you visiting with us and we look forward to your bright future.